Welcome to Cafe Freeman Park. Time to do the Solar Pathfinder tutorial. This is an amazing device that will tell you what time of the year a certain location is shaded by surrounding trees or buildings or even the cauldron from the 2000 Olympic Games. Let's check it out. It's time to unbox the Solar Pathfinder. You'll see what it says. Solar Pathfinder. Fast, accurate solar site analysis. To set up the Solar Pathfinder, push the tripod through the three holes in the base. You can change how the tripod's set up so that it can be set up on an angle. Just push out the legs a little bit further. You see, the bottom of the Solar Pathfinder is a dome shape. And here there's a cup for it to sit in. On top is a bubble level. So when you put it on top, you can make sure it's flat. The arrow on the bubble needs to point towards the equator. You can use the compass to line up the solar pathfinder between north and south. However, remember this was made in the USA, where the equator would be south. For us, the equator is north. So we're going to swing the solar pathfinder around 180 degrees. Where we're located, north is actually this direction. But if you look down onto the solar pathfinder, you'll see that the compass actually says south for the direction which is north. This is the correct orientation for the southern hemisphere. Place the correct sun path diagram on the top of the solar pathfinder. The x-axis shows us the solar time throughout the day. For this particular sun path diagram, this goes from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. In the middle and on the side, you can see which month corresponds to which line. So if we wanted to know at 9 a.m. in August, if something was shaded, we'll go up to this cross section here and if we could see in the reflection of the dome that it was covered, we will know that this um, area is shaded for this time of the year. Imagine that you wanted to build a garden here or install some solar panels. You have the cauldron to the north of us and then the trees to the west of us. Let's see what time of the year these things will be shading this exact location. Take a picture for future reference. Hold your camera directly above the solar pathfinder. Your photograph of the solar pathfinder will allow you to see what time of the year your site is shaded. For example, between 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. for the month of April, your site will be shaded around 5% of the time. Whereas between 11 to 12 midday, April will be shaded nearly 100% of the time. Later in the afternoon, between the hours of 5 to 6 p.m., the site will be shaded nearly the whole year round. If you are performing a solar system feasibility study, you can enter this information into Oxen S4. Click on the shading worksheet and go to the values in the table that need to be changed to correspond to the appropriate shading. For example, April is shaded between 10 to 11 a.m. about 5% of the time and between 11 a.m. to 12 noon around 100% of the time. For the hour of 5 to 6 p.m., we know this site is shaded around 80% of the time for the whole year. To make the process easier, we can copy and paste this value to the other cells. Here is a table that I completed earlier filled out for this site. Clicking on the optimization tab, allows us to graphically see in the chart the effect that the sh shading has on the solar irradiance curve. For example, this dip in the curve 
is the result of the shading from the cauldron during the middle of the day. If we want to see for specific months the impact of the shading, we can pick that month from the drop down. For example, December, which is not shaded for that time of the year, should have a nice smooth curve. Click on update chart to see this. We can see that there is no shading effects on December and we have a nice round solar irradiance curve. Whereas April, where there is a lot of shading during the middle of the day, we can expect to see a big dip in the solar irradiance curve. As expected, there is a large dip in the solar irradiance curve for the month of April due to the shading of the cauldron. Thank you for watching this video and thank you to Townsville City Council for commissioning the making of this video.